I'm gonna need some pretty powerful cleanser to remove that stain. And I know just the stuff. Igor, it's Brady. You in the back? I'm here about the usual. Wondering if you had any monster deliveries today. You know, something about nine feet tall, covered in black fur, with enormous leathery wings and long pointed teeth? No, I guess not. Oh, I guess Igor stepped out and forgot to put the poor eels back. Somewhere. I thought this work day would never end. I can't wait to get home and have Pollyanna fuss over me. <laughs> can't see! Uh-oh. That's gonna cost me... Yikes! Please don't eat me! I don't want to eat you. I want to squidgy your window for a dollar. A dollar? Boy, do you drive a hard bargain? Half a buck and you can get to work. You, you, you all right? Can I get you something? Like a padded room? You'll have to forgive my better half. I understand Mr. Hyde makes a terrible first impression. I get it. You're Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. The offer stands, my friend. I'm not accustomed to begging, but my situation is not exactly conducive to offering much except my services for a little lodging. What? I need a place to crash. We don't keep monsters. <laughs> In exchange for providing you with free medical services. <sighs> You're a doctor. You're a doctor? Of course! You're a doctor! Dr. Jekyll! We've never had a doctor in the family. So what are you saying, Dad? That Bobby isn't good enough for your little girl? Of course not. I'm saying he isn't rich enough. Call me old-fashioned, but what's wrong with marrying for money? Poor Brady. He's been looking so pathetic. Don't worry, Polly. Most boys his age look like that. He'll grow out of it. It's just, he's never been the same since his monster left. Look who's here! We have a surprise for you, Brady. It's upstairs in your closet. <gasps> It's you, isn't it? My monster! Mom and Pop found you and brought you back to me! Who are you? Depends. Hello? Are you still in there? <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> Not bad at all! Do you really think I have beautiful hair? No. But you will. With Dr. Jekyll's Special Cases Shampoo, your split hands will become a thing of the past. You know, I already have a boyfriend. He must be sick. Forever letting you out of his sight. <laughs> How can I say this delicately, Mrs. Plunkett? You look like a dead rat. Strange. I feel worse. Any idea what my problem is? I've seen this before. 
but never on a human, of course. Can you help me, Doctor? Fear not, my dear woman. This powdery concoction of mine will cure it instantly. <laughs> Voila! Doctor, you're a genius! One hears rumors. <laughs> monster has potential. Dr. Jekyll and all this free medical attention are a real find. I meant Mr. Pie. <laughs> Gotta be honest with you, Brady. He takes some getting used to. Ahem. <laughs> <laughs> You two are twisted, dangerous, and frightening. I like that in children. I have a proposition that just might interest you two. It's simple, really. As long as your family needs a doctor, I have this little closet to call my own. But a family would have to be pretty sick to need a doctor every day of their lives, wouldn't you think? <laughs> I knew you'd understand. Arlene, honey, isn't that a beard growing on your forehead? Dr. Jekyll says it's to be expected, but it's only temporary. I just have to keep drinking this tea potion eight times a day. Funny, drinking mine is supposed to keep my tail from getting any longer. Is that stew, Cuddlekins? Wonderful! Let me give you a hand with that. Hey! What's going on here? Curious, isn't it, Brady? Come, let me explain. <laughs> there it is, Brady. One sip of my special potion eight times a day, and you'll never have to worry about brushing your teeth again. Wow. Are you sure this is good for teeth? It tastes sweet. You call me Dr. Jekyll and I wouldn't dream of it. I don't know what you're up to, Jekyll, but you're not going to get away with it. Not in my house. Take a look at yourselves. Are you sure you haven't noticed any changes since Jekyll and Hyde got here? Maybe we need a little bit of a haircut. Haircut? You people need to be mowed. Don't you see that our new monster is slowly turning you all into Mr. Heights? I won't have you blaming the doctor, Brady. He saved me loads of money with all this free medication. This stuff you're drinking isn't medication, Pop. It's what's responsible for your bizarre conditions. That's a terrible thing to say about your mother. Huh? Don't you get it? He's making us sick, so we think we need him to cure us. I wonder if this comes in banana flavoring. <gasps> Hello, young Brady. Can I interest you in a drink of my latest concoction? This one will cure you of any bright idea. I can do without your cures, Dr. Jekyll. And so can my family. Don't count on it. Huh? to do what I should have done in the first place. A background check on a certain doctor. Why is there no documentation on Dr. Jekyll? This must have happened before. It's as if he disappears without a trace. Or his victims do. Of course, the hairy beasts in the pet shop. Mom? Pa! Oh no! What's he done with my family? Of course! I knew it! You two are so busted! Unless you want to drink the contents of those beakers, you better start talking fast! 
Yes, as a matter of fact, someone did sell me several more of those creatures just a little while ago. A doctor, but let me warn you, they're terrible little monsters. They're not monsters, Mr. Igor. They're my family. Don't worry. The twins are working on a reverse transformation potion. By the way, Pop, Mom, Aline, have you met Virgil's family? Let me out! Eagle! I'm not an aquatic creature! Those twisted twins have lied to you! They lied! Oh, 